Hi guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I've got a post-workout cool down yoga flow for you. This is gonna be a really nice full body cool down practice. So we'll be moving at a nice slow pace and starting to slow down your heart rate, stretch out those strong muscles and help you to cool down after a nice workout. All right, so this is in response to some requests that I've been getting from you guys. So I hope that you will enjoy this post-workout flow. Please like this video and leave your comments below. Let me know how this practice is going for you. And don't forget to subscribe to the new Jen Hillman channel. And we are going to begin our practice today kneeling on your mat. And if you have difficulty with your knees or it's not comfortable for you to kneel, you can always just sit down or um, use some props to help support you. If it's helpful, you could sit on a block underneath your hips or place a blanket or a cushion behind your knees. That could make it a little easier to support yourself in this kneeling posture. And we are working towards opening up the knees. So eventually we wanna to get to that place where you can kneel comfortably. So we're just working in that direction. And then we will start by just closing your eyes for a few deep breaths. And just feel the strength from your workout, all that energy that you cultivated inside of yourself. Feeling the warmth of your body. Notice the rate of your breathing, the rate of your heartbeat. And as you just settle in here, allow things to start to slow down. you're ready you can open your eyes and interlace your hands stretch your palms up towards the sky hug your belly in as you inhale push and lift then exhale stretch your arms out in a big wide circle then interlace your hands at the base of your spine squeeze the palms of your hands as you inhale Rotate your heart open, stretch your fists away from your hips as you lift your heart high. Then exhale and gently return to center. And we'll go again. Interlace your hands. Inhale, press your palms up, lift through your waist, lift through your belly. Then exhale, circle your hands down and around. Interlace your hands behind your back. I'll we'll just turn so you can see here. Squeeze the palms of your hands as you inhale. Open through your heart and your chest. Stretch your hands back, squeezing through your shoulders. And exhale as you gently release your grip, coming back to center. And we'll move through this flow one more time. Inhale, stretch. Lift your palms up. Press the sky away. Then exhale and circle your arms all the way down and around. Get a nice tight grip with your hands as you inhale, open through your heart and chest. And exhale and gently release back to center. Moving into a side stretch, reach your left fingertips over to the left. Sweep your right arm up and over, going for a side body stretch. Now lean your hips towards the right side, giving you a little counter stretch. Roll your heart open towards the sky for a true lateral flexion along the side of your waist. Reach through your fingertips. Then we'll inhale and come all the way back up. Release your right fingertips over to the right side. 
Then we'll sweep that left arm up and over, stretching into the left side of your waist. Melt your hips towards the left side, giving you a little counter stretch. So as the hips anchor down towards the earth, you have a little more room to stretch and reach through your fingertips. See if you can roll your heart open for a nice deep side bend, reaching and return up to center. Now we're gonna take this into a little bit more of a flow here. So start by reaching your right hand back to the floor behind you. You're gonna press and lift your hips up, then sweep your left arm up and over. So really opening through your front body as you lift your hips high. Then sink your hips back down to your heels. Fold your body forward over your legs and all the way over to the second side. So the left hand comes back. You'll inhale to lift your hips, reach your right arm up and over. Then as you exhale, sink your hips down, fold your body forward and sweep from the left to the right until the right hand comes back. Hips lift, inhale. Exhale, sink your hips down, sweep your body around to the second side. Inhale and lift. Exhale and sweep. We'll go one more cycle to both sides. Inhale to the right. Exhale, sweep it around all the way to the left. Inhale and rise. Then exhale, sink your hips down. We're gonna come all the way around into a little child's pose and pause. Breathe into the backs of your lungs. Breathe into the backs of your kidneys. Allow your body to soften and relax here. Take one more cycle of breath in and out. And walk your hands back in towards your knees and we're gonna press ourselves up and back into a downward facing dog. So spread your fingers wide on your mat, tuck your toes and lift your hips high. Then go ahead and just pedal out your feet, right and left. Go nice and slow so that you can really tune into that stretch behind your calves, working into that tight space behind your ankles, behind your knees, anywhere that you might feel that tension. So we're just taking it nice and slow, stretching your legs, then make your way to neutral, reaching both heels equally down towards the earth. Open through your heart and chest and shoulders heel here, feeling that full extension through your spine. Then inhale to lift your right leg up towards the sky, taking an even bigger stretch here, reach. Then draw your knee forward towards your chest, squeeze your belly tight, and step your right foot forward. Now, if it doesn't come all the way to the top of your mat, you can just grab your ankle and help bring your foot forward. Then lower your left knee down, and I suggest keeping your left toes tucked underneath you. So make sure you have a big step on your mat. As we inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Make your legs really strong here as you melt your hips forward. Release your right hand to your right thigh, then stretch your left arm up and over. So we're going back into that side body stretch. For a deeper stretch in the front of your hip, you can start to roll your heart open towards the sky until you find the edge of your stretch. Then slowly coming back to center, release both hands down to the floor. Glide your hips back, 
over your left knee and extend your right leg straight. Root down in your left fingertips and sweep your right arm up towards the sky, getting a twist in your spine. Pull back on your right hip to give you a deep stretch in your IT band. You'll probably be feeling a lot of sensation here. So just breathe into it, say yes to the stretch, and see if you can roll your heart around just a little bit more. Now keeping this twist just as it is, bend into your right knee, coming back into the lunge, then bend your left knee, reach back with your right hand, and see if you can get a hold of your ankle. Now this is gonna to start to stretch the front of your left quadricep. So you can stay right here if this is enough stretch for you. But if you would like to take it one step deeper, you can slide your hips back to meet your heel. Keep your heel connected to your hip and then lunge forward again, taking you a little bit deeper opening through the front of your left leg for three, two, one, release. Coming back to the front here, let's plant your hands down, lift your left knee, and step your right foot back, coming right back into your downward facing dog. And take a full breath in right here, and a full breath out. And we'll prepare for the second side. Lift your left leg up and back. Take a big stretch. Then draw your knee forward, shifting over your hands. See if you can plant your foot down all the way between your hands. And remember, you can always grab that ankle and help it come forward if you need. Then lower your right knee down and try and keep your right toes tucked. Sink your hips forward as you lift through your heart, rise out of your waist and extend your fingertips up towards the sky. Nice big lunge here. Release your left hand to your left thigh and we move into that side stretch, reaching your right fingertips over towards the left side. Then for a deeper heart opening, a front body open, roll your heart up towards the sky until you find that edge of your stretch. Wherever you find that edge, just breathe into it and then release both hands back down to the floor. Slide your hips back over your right knee, extend your left leg straight. Root down through your right fingertips as you twist and revolve your heart open towards the left, stacking your shoulders one on top of the other. Extend your left fingertips towards the sky. Now pull back on your left hip. It's going to increase the stretch along that IT band. But just send your breath into that place and be patient as your body slowly opens. Now keeping this twist just as it is, simply bend into the left knee. Bring your right ankle up and reach back with your hand to take a hold of that ankle. And just know this might be enough stretch for you today. If that's it, just enjoy it. Work it out, stretch and breathe. If you'd like a deeper stretch along the right quad, reach your hips back until your heel connects with your hips. Keep that connection and come forward again. Yeah, really holding that heel tightly against the glute, coming into your deepest lunge here until you find your own personal sense of the edge. Then slowly release your right foot back down. Plant both hands down onto your mat. Lift your right knee and step your left foot back to its place. Coming right back into your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And exhale a deep breath out. Then lower your knees down to your mat. 
sink your hips back to your heels. We're coming right back into our child's pose. So just take three cycles of breath right here in your child's pose. Softening into your hips, release tension in your low back, let your arms and shoulders relax. Feel that sense of completion as you're coming to the end of your practice today. You've done your great workout and followed it up with a nice stretch to cool down and slow down. Feel that residual tingle of energy that you've cultivated in your body. And slide your hands back towards your knees. Press yourself all the way up, coming back into your kneeling position. Now, if you find it helpful to end your practice today in Shavasana, then I encourage you to do that at this time, to go ahead and come lying down onto your back. Close your eyes and just let your body really relax and melt into the floor, feeling that sense of a deep surrender and softening. If, on the other hand, you are preparing to go into your day, you're going to go to work or go get some things done, then you might choose to end your practice just kneeling or sitting in an upright position. And if that's the case, you can just be there and close your eyes and be mindful even sitting. So wherever you are, if you're lying down in Shavasana or you're kneeling or sitting, just take this last few moments to really tune in to your breathing. Tune in to a sense of gratitude and appreciation for yourself. It's not easy to maintain a commitment to working out and staying healthy and fit. There's all kinds of excuses and reasons that we make up to avoid doing the work. But every day that we practice, is a step on the journey and it's worth acknowledging, it's worth appreciating. So thank you for following along with me today. Thank you for allowing me to be your guide and thank you for being a part of this community. Now, if you're looking for longer flows or more extensive practices, you can visit my new subscription community, the Jen Hillman Community .tv. Please sign up and join my social media on Instagram and Facebook so you can stay in the loop and stay connected when new videos are coming out all the time. You guys are so awesome. Keep up the good work and we will see you next time. Namaste.